so a rice farmer has decided to protect against possible price fluctuations at time of harvest by purchasing some rice options so we have already discussed this uh, options correct yeah what type of risk response what strategy, type of risk response strategy that has the farmer rice farmer engaged in acceptance mm, acceptance no he has bought some options na that option will reduce his risk okay he has taken huh. he has he is not see acceptance is he is accepting the total risk but he is like kind of minimizing his risk am i right 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 yeah so what is he doing he is sharing his risk na yeah when you take an option some risk is with you some risk is is with another party right 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 both the parties who are entering into an option contract okay uh, see mm. downside risk would be there am i right so right so sharing is the answer risk sharing transfer some some loss potential to another party okay transfers okay. loss some loss potential that means if it may happen it may happen okay see what happens if he is purchasing option to buy rice at some mm. fixed price he will buy mm. the price at that fixed price and what he can what advantage he will have is if the price is going up he can buy the price uh, buy the rice at fixed price and sell at higher price am i right 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 in that case who is uh, facing the loss the one who has sold the option isn't it so the one right. who has sold the sold option. option that's what shall we go ahead yes yeah, sir please do this a a yes that's absolutely right very good why because what is he doing he wants to avoid the risk by selling the building to someone mm. else correct mm. reduction is not he reduction is when he will be holding the building and doing something to reduce that risk okay so, right and the risk exploitation is the deliberate coating of risk in order to pursue a high return on investment that means he will try to exploit the risk to 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 make very good returns but what returns he will okay. make in this building he'll just get a rent na correct that means uh -huh. either if he let let's out he'll get a rent or if he is going to get very good returns that's a secondary matter but he wants to sell this to someone na the strategy uh -huh. is very clear he wants to reduce the risk uh, by he wants to avoid the risk of any flood on his office isn't it so yeah that's one he want to avoid that from happening so he is selling it next one please read this and you have to so a large multinational german uh, company currently has its it department in germany to reduce the risk of system failure the company decided to split up the information technology department into two geographically separate locations and set up a new location in singapore of course it happens now if you are dependent on only one branch something happens there then what mm. correct if that country put some restriction or something something or the other some risk you may be carrying if you shift if you have two branches now what can happen at least there you can if here some kind of issue happens uh, there, there you can, can sustain at least yeah so the company can still face a catastrophic system failure but the risk will generally greatly reduce why because the they have split the department see yeah if something hits both the departments both in both the geographical locations that is something we can't do anything for that okay that is uncertainty True. but True. here risk is getting reduced so the risk that remains after the company sets up second information technology department in germany in singapore is best described as what business risk residual risk inherent risk hazard risk i can say this is residual yeah. risk huh? the leftover risk correct residual yeah. is what Re leftover what is that leftover see residual risk what? is risk, 
risk of an activity remaining after the effects of any risk responses that means you have responded very positively by setting up a location okay. in singapore okay okay so germany's okay. risk whatever you had uh, mm -hmm. like uh, that risk is there but after setting up the branch in singapore the leftover risk is on the singapore branch am i right 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 it's a risk to right. risk what is inherent risk and uh, hazard risk see hazard risk is the risk that can be insured you can insure it correct any natural okay. calamities earthquake or anything hazard inherent risk, risk is okay. risk of an activity that arises from the activity itself the activity itself is risky i don't think you putting a branch in singapore is a risky activity if you do it that in north korea then i can okay. say something correct okay okay Organization faces a real type of risk in pursuit of the strategic objective. The risk that the strategic functions will fail to adequately defense the organization landscape and raising strategic risk. Yeah. So organizations face several type of risk in pursuit to their strategic objectives. The risk Correct. that the treasury function will fail. See, treasury. Treasury function is what? Operational. Treasury function, yeah. Absolutely. Operational only. Very good, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Next one. This developed a new technology advance paper for ten solar panels for residential home use. We decided to start selling these solar panel bulb lights. This technology will innovate product. One risk is that company faces to sell the solar panel as possible for a claim. What of fail this representative of what type of risk to the company? Hmm. This is residual to नहीं होगा, operational भी नहीं होगा. Fifth one, yeah. Company has developed a new technologically. advanced paper thin solar panel for residential home use company has decided to start selling their solar panel worldwide next month as this is a technologically innovative product one is that company faces to sell the solar panel is possible product failure see product failure comes under operational risk am i right hmm hmm at all see product okay. failure see the less demand for some particular uh, so uh, why it can't be business risk matlab business uh, risk mein kaise hoga coming to that hmm. see business risk is the risk that a company will have uh, like uh, anticipation that they will earn less profits or they will incur losses correct okay okay so see the the oper see what what has happened is technologically innovative product one is that so there is some innovation happening company faces to sell the solar panels possible product failure that means the product itself is a something which is not working huh. forget okay. about selling that correct uh -huh. if you sell and you get less profit that's a business is but here the Business product is failed na it's a failed okay. product okay okay it's an operational yeah 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 go for the next one sir. The risk associated with the project will increase in direct proportion to all of the following. Set. Do we scroll down, sir? For the options. Direct proportion to all of the following except the. See, question is the risk associated with the project will increase in direct proportion to all of the following except the. See, so you have to find out that except. Okay. Okay. Uncertainty. Again, we'll see that the project will increase in direct proportion to all of the following except. duration of the project sorry duration uh, how
they are asking accept see you are saying see what happens risk associated with the project will increase in direct proportion to the following like see whatever the risk you have okay mm. if uncertainty increases risk like just a second just a second Uh. Okay. See what happens is when uncertainty uh, increases, risk also increases, correct? Yeah. So thus, as the duration of the project in, uh, investment increases, the risk also increases. So duration increases. Okay. Risk also increases. They are directly proportional, correct? Okay, okay. See, duration. If the project duration is increased, the is increasing the risk will also increase, na? The risk, correct, correct. Yeah. That the that 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 the project can fail, correct? Correct. Yeah. See, volatility of cash flows associated with the project. See, uh, like. Uh, See, risk uncertainty increases. Risk increases. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The risk increases. Volatility also increases. Oh, increases. Right. Next. The surrounding the impact of federal regulation on project that also increases the risk. But capital adequacy in the organization. See, capital adequacy is something related to financial institution. So the bank must be able to pay their their depositors on demand their money on a given day and still will be able to make new loans, correct? So capital adequacy okay. can be discussed in terms of solvency or liquidity, correct? Okay. Yeah. Uh, or yeah. the reserves or suffi sufficient capital. So that doesn't uh, go with, go with the uh, like uh, associated risk with the project. You can arrange the capital, no? isn't it so? This is the answer. Except. Okay. Next one. Which one of the following is not considered a key step of risk management process? Assets risk we consider current risk, prioritizing risk, risk. See, risk assessment happens. Prioritizing the risk happens. That means ranking risk response. Also, you formulate, but reconsider current risks. No. We can't. Uh, it's not a part of. Risk management, risk process. management okay. process. Okay. Try to uh, minimize the risk, but not to reconsider. Next one. Yeah. Benefits of risk management. Uh, lower cost of capital. Only current risk are not the risk for the organization. Now they should take all kind of risk into picture. Correct. Yes. True. Potential benefit of risk management. Exam. Exam. Model paper. B, this can be OC. All of the following are potential benefits of risk management except. Efficient allocation of resources. 
see all of the following are potential benefits see very tricky question lower cost of capital see what happens if you are investing in a good company which has a very good risk management in that company your risk will reduce am i right and uh, yeah your, your when your risk will reduce your cost of capital also reduce correct yes yes efficient allocation of resources uh, all of the following are potential yeah efficient allocation of resources yes, happens in a good in a company where all the risk management uh, functions are intact correct right inherent risk means uh, the risk the risk that of an activity that arises from the activity itself yeah so that is not risk of an activity that arises from the activity itself okay Okay. Yeah. So, for example, uranium prospecting is inherently riskier than retailing. That means prospect of searching uranium is very much uh, dangerous than. That means they have to dig and everything they have to do, na? Then retailing Correct. the particular uranium. Correct? Correct. So, there the activity itself is risky. So, what you can do? You can't do anything. You have to take the risk. Correct? Yes. and flexibility in responding to unforeseen circumstances see encountering fewer surprises is one of the benefits of risk management see every risk manager would do scenario stress testing scenario analysis whereby they'll be take they'll be considering all those scenarios whereby the company would be exposed to some risks correct yeah so they'll they'll put the companies in various various scenarios where the risk are, where the company can be get exposed to risk and they'll try to minimize those risks uh, with with proper plan so that is also a benefit of risk management but this is something which what risk management can do if the task itself is a risky one and they have to take it they can't do anything no yeah next one next see if for manufacture of computer equipment learned last week and the accounting department has not completed any bank reconciliation For the last six months, due to implementation of new accounting software package, what type of risk has been identified? Reconciliation for the last six months to be implemented. This is a financial risk, man. It when it can be strategy. A CFO at a manufacturer of computer equipment learned last week that the accounting department has not completed any bank reconciliation for the last six months due to uh, implementation like, of a new yeah, accounting software type. Yeah, yeah. So please find. First instance, what kind of risk this is? I'm confused with operational and. Uh... Yeah, this is operational risk, na? No? of course mm. it's operation failure he is not doing that is operation failure financial risk if i have to tell there are many things i can put into it, like interest okay rate risk exchange rate risk commodity risk credit risk Credit risk, liquidity risk, market risk. Okay, strategic okay. risk is what? Global economic risk. Okay. Political risk. that regulatory risk also we can see hazard risk natural disasters uh 
the incapacity or death of senior officers sabotage that means some kind of uh, bloodshed and terrorism as a risk Thank yeah you. operational risk we know all kind of things now uh, like like the employees not performing their task pro properly like yeah. things related to human resources mm -hmm. generally okay next so the following is considered a quantitative risk assessment document quantitative quantitative is in terms of <clears throat> some uh, value some numbers mm -hmm. self this is benchmarking benchmarking is you are putting some standards some numbers that this 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 much okay. percentage ha uh ha -huh. we will set some benchmark numbers yeah, right. yeah 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 just a second i'm putting the charger i mean we can go for the next question pharma corporate has a large amount of grain that has gap performance numbers so what is price is for grain are high but not now the corporate customers they got the purchase and no problem so then for the change in grain long hitch